Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Julian once again, and doing the uh, doing a training tip video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about like what do we do when we encounter like the weekend trades. So should we close them? Should we keep let them run? So I want to basically I have two case studies for you. I have the New Zealand USD. I have the GP USD. Um, this is what happened. Okay, so this is uh, these are both trades that I did on Friday. And as you know, Friday the market closed on New York. So the next time it opens on a Monday, there could be a gap. And you know, unless the market could gain momentum, could lose momentum. Something happened over the weekend. It could like explode, and sometimes it could just stay still. So uh, let me tell you like uh, what happened and what what you should do when you get a weekend trade. Should you hold your trades over the weekend? Should you keep them running? Or what what, what do you do? Okay, so um, I I, gen I generally like uh, do all my trades with two positions, some even three positions. Uh, I have different exit points, so that's how I kind of mitigate my my you know profit and loss, right? Um, so I exited my first position over here. This is my entry, this is my exit, and then um, what happened to position two was that it got trading stopped out somewhere around. If if it wasn't here, it was here somewhere around there. So as you can see, I didn't get that many pips for my second position. There was no third position in this trade, so it's basically just that. Um, and then what happened was that open on Monday, it was around about the same. It was, uh, it opened up on Monday hereabouts, and it was just somewhere in the middle. I was like, you know, hey, it was about the same price that I that, that I got trading stopped out. So should we get in again? Um, but at a point in time, I was looking and I was like, hey, this looks like a, it looks like a reverse flag, right? It's a reverse flag, and uh, it could go anyway. It could go. It could break up to the top side. It could break up to the bottom. Uh, top side would be great, but if it if it broke out to the bottom, that that would suck because, you know, um, in that case, if I'm entering again over here or if I set my stop over here, I could just actually lose a bunch of pips. So, yeah, we all know that this is like a it's it's like a you can say well we, we, any any idea we're speculating it's a gamble, so we got to be ready for any kind of outcome. I mean that's the risk we take as traders, right? Um, <clears throat> but anyway let's look at what happened so what happened was that it just hit tp2 like minutes ago but i was really out of this trade so i was not in there so was it the right decision well that kind of sucks it feels it feels shitty that we could have got all the way when we just got powered away but now let's look at a different scenario okay now let's look at the gbp uh usd this was a trade that i got it over here um and I, I exited my first position over here. My TP2 was around this, actually it was around this area. It was around this area. And I decided to just get out. Like I got out everything. Um, and where did I get out? Okay, this is not, not a direct, it's not a direct, um, it's not a direct comparison because this was actually, you know, a, a trade from earlier in the week. Okay, and it was not over the weekend. But anyways, I got out over uh, here when I saw, you know, it was very bullish. And at that time, I, I think it was because I, I, I just didn't feel like I want to hold it over the morning. And then it subsequently went a little bit higher. It didn't get to where I wanted to, and then dropped all the way on, way down. Never came back up again. So. Um, moral story like you, you don't have the control of of what's going to happen uh you know sometimes it doesn't turn out the way you want but sometimes it does but at the end of the day like if you're comfortable for that profit uh you can just take it so you know just take that amount just take it and, and and be happy all right so don't don't feel like you're stressed don't feel like you know you lose out um but what's and yeah, they, like, you make a plan, stick to it. And over the weekend, sometimes it can work against you as well because sometimes over the weekend it can possibly gap against you. And if it gaps against you, you know, then then you could be losing out big time. Let's try to see. This weekend there was no gap, but some of the weekends there can be a very big gap in price. And you know, um, when it gaps against you, sometimes it can go way past the stop loss as well. So if you were in profit on a Friday. Uh, you could be in on a 30 pip loss on a Monday and that sucks. So that's one of the things I want you to be sure about. And uh, if you want to learn more about how to trade, how to how to determine your, your entries, exits, well, uh, then join the Forex Learning Group. It's actually free to join. All you need to do is open a broker account, you know, through the links provided in the video description, contact my admin and you can be in the group already. That's all for now. Good training.